Hi guys, welcome to another short video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and in this video I'm going to do a small talk on Staffordshire figures and a book review. Now Staffordshire figures have been around since the 1830s. Um, they cover all areas, um, sports figures, memorabilia, royalty, political, um, miscellaneous as in castles or buildings. There's a huge range. But at the same time, there's a huge price range, price difference too. Um, here I have an example of a nursery rhyme or fairy tale character, Little Red Riding Hood. Whereas here we have um, some clock tower or a castle or building of some sorts. Um, haven't done the research on it yet. Uh, Little Red Riding Hood to be honest with you, the cloak and the wolf is self-explanatory. Um, back. Five, ten years ago, Staffordshire figures were in the hundreds, some of them even into the thousands. Um, but to be honest with you, I find Staffordshire figures very hard to sell at the moment unless they're the right figure. You get a good sports uh, figure like a cricketer or something like that, you can get really good money. Um, but you have to be careful, there are fakes or reproductions of Staffordshire figures out there. Um, so you need to familiarise yourself with um, the figures, buy some damage pieces learn, have a feel, see what they feel like, it doesn't make any difference. Um, let's say I'm going to show you the book, uh, give you the ISBN of the book, um, but they are something that will come up very often um, on car boot sales and antique fairs. Pretty much every car boot sale I go to I see Staffordshire figures. I tend to buy them in for a few pounds, sell them for between 10 and 50. So there's still money to be made. So it's certainly a subject you should get the book for and have a little learn. So I hope you find the uh, short video interesting um, and hope it helps. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is show you the little red riding hood figure here. Um, if you take note of the colours, they're quite distinctive. The blue and the, the orangey red, the greens. These are very distinctive colours for period Staffordshire. You not nearly always find crazy on Staffordshire, but the one thing you do need to look for is the firing hole. Um, in this case, it won't have one because the, it's a spill vase, it's open at the top. But if they didn't have a firing hole, they would have collapsed. Um, more often than not, they have these little sort of flowers on them that are quite crude. But, little red riding hood here, come across to the book. Um, always helps if you have the figure illustrated in a specialist book. You can always ask a bit more of a premium then. Um, we come across, and there she is, little red riding hood, plate one, two, four. There it is. So, always helps to have um, a good book. The book I have here is Staffordshire Figures of the Victorian Era, which basically set 1837 onwards. Um, as I've said to you, the book does contain all areas and categories. I'm going to give you the ISBN before we start. There you go. So we come in, obviously comes in art, history and everything. Where are we at? Right, so you got the introduction, the, the evolution and the decline. So basically you got an introduction and a brief history, then you come straight into figures. The book covers it all. You obviously got your military and naval figures. There you go, part of the source of inspiration. There's loads of information in the book. I'm going to skip through. You see all the uh, figures. Now the book doesn't have every figure I've had. What it tends to have is the more important figures or the more valuable figures. So this section is going to be British royalty. Or British and foreign royalty. Now. If I skip that. We come across then. Where it was next. This is all the royalty, so you can see there's a lot of figures in royalty. 
see if I can skip this section for you. So then you have statesmen and politicians. You know, there's a lot of examples in the book. Um, a lot of information on these pieces telling you uh, the years they were made and all sorts. Naval military exploration really is a good good little book to have. Now a friend of mine some years ago had a sports figure. Let me see if I can find it now which was a cricketer. This little uh, figure here a friend of mine had which is the batsman. Um, I know it's been faked so be careful but if you get a real one it was good money back a few years ago. Um, another common reproduction one is the boxer. I've seen hundreds of the boxers. You've got to be careful with those. But I, as I say, Staffordshire figures are something you are going to find a lot of. They seem to be everywhere. They've gone out of fashion, but there are still hardened collectors for them. Um, not being funny. When you got a piece of 19th century pottery that looks as good as that then you can understand why people still collect them and display them. Bit of stain into the back of this one, neither here nor there. But again, it's take note of the colours, the very distinctive colours on the original and you'll find the crazing and the skilling. it's not that bright. So. Anyway guys, there we have it, um, yet again another really good book in my library. Um, as I've told you on many occasions, I buy all my books second hand. If I'm on the market and there's a retiring dealer and they're selling their books, I buy them all. Um, you may not know anything about the subject now and you may not have a piece to research now, but I guarantee you, once you've got the books in the library, they will earn you money one day. This uh, Staffordshire portrait book, really good book. Um, I'll probably get my money back just because I can show Little Red Riding Hood illustrated in the book. It makes life so much easier for people, they feel more confident in buying off you. Um, so, as I said, Staffordshire figures have declined in value, but you can still make money on them. And if you find a rare example, you're still quids in. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and share. Um, and subscribe. You'll find us on Facebook, Antiques Arena. We have our own website, antiquesarena.co.uk, and you'll find us on eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance. Till the next time, guys. Thanks for watching and bye.